Hold on. I've got some good news for you for a Monday. Put down your coffee cups because you don't want to spill. I know it's not often you hear me say good news, but this is really good news. A week ago today at the 2021 year-end financial forecast, it was stated very clearly that the Ramey Modern broke even last year, even in a pandemic. That's outstanding. I mean, you're probably sitting there just like me and going, wow, what did they do? Because everybody else is struggling. How did they do that? They've got to be a beacon of light for every other facility in the city. So I went into their financials, took a look at what they projected and what they actually made. And then all of a sudden I wasn't so optimistic that maybe they were being forthcoming about this break even status. They're like a trust fund kid with an unlimited credit card telling their friends that they live on a budget. That's the Ramey Modern, because if you took out what the city of Saskatoon taxpayers put in, which is directly about uh, $6.3 million, and then you take the other 1.9 million on top of that that came probably from federal and provincial governments, and then their whole budget for the year for, for revenue was only 10.6 million. So you see a problem here? They're nowhere near gonna ever make enough money because their pre-pandemic budgets would never have made a, a profit. They wouldn't even have broke even. There'll be many million, millions of dollars every year in the hole and substantially so. And it's not just due to the building that we don't know the cost of. It's their high cost of operations for how much they generate. Last year, they had $214,000 worth of revenue from admissions. Their pre-pandemic budget said only 355,000, which is still nothing on, on a $10 million budget. So maybe we should start waking up to the fact, but what was really the one of their major, well, their largest expense, salary and payroll, $4.485 million, even cost more than the building costs. So do you think 50 people work at the Ramey? And if so, do you think they all make near $100,000? Because I don't think the people that work in the restaurant make 100 grand. I'm thinking they make a pretty small salary compared to some people that make way so much at the top that maybe they shouldn't. Considering that these are the same people that keep selling us in the sales pitch that they're gonna make so much money and they're gonna be profitable and they're gonna pay their own way. So quit coming to city council and quit presenting that you're breaking even unless you're going to say that you're using a bottomless pit of taxpayer money first and that you count that as breaking even because we all know where the future is going to be. You're going to break even like that forever. And I've had enough of it.